As Louisiana deals with the brunt of Hurricane Ida, today marks 16 years since Hurricane Katrina made landfall in the state. Katrina devastated New Orleans in 2005. It was responsible for more than 1,800 dead. Brianna Andrews and Mark Collins have been digging deeper into the similarities between Katrina and Ida. Hurricane Katrina struck the Gulf Coast today, August 29th, 16 years ago, causing catastrophic damage to New Orleans. The city was left underwater after the levees protecting the city failed. The Weather Authority's meteorologist Mark Collins is digging deeper into the difference between Hurricane Katrina and Ida. Katrina was much bigger. If you had to take your pick, go for the smaller storm. Reason being, Katrina, it had category three, four, and five strength much longer in the Gulf of Mexico. So that put a bigger storm surge into the Northern Gulf. Ida, more compact, hurricane force winds 50 miles per hour. Even though those winds are stronger, it came ashore with less storm surge. Hurricane Ida has rapidly intensified, leaving the city of New Orleans with no time to issue a mandatory evacuation order. Time is not on our side. The city cannot issue a mandatory evacuation because we don't have the time. Hurricane Katrina is America's costliest storm thus far, with a death toll totaling close to 2,000 lives. Katrina was a Category 3 hurricane with winds near 127 miles per hour. Today, Category 4 Hurricane Ida has potential to surpass that. Hurricane Katrina had weaker winds at landfall at about 135 miles per hour, but it was deadlier because of the strong storm surge and the fact that some of the levees were breached by the heavy rains. Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards shares his thoughts on the durability of the state's levees. In a statement this morning, he said in part, Ida is going to be a very serious test for our levee systems. Brianna Andrews, Channel 4, The Local Station.